Look, are you hustling me, lady? Because I don't see a lamp. I'm on top of the bed. Ha ha! And we're back. Uh, we're gonna go inside this weird pickle lady. Here we go. Anodyne too, loving it. Oh, it looks like we get to do our little rhythm. Wait, is she? Oh, I thought it was a tank, but she's in the bed sitting up and she's got her weird nose thing. Oh, I don't remember. It's really nice that it shows you the direction of these. That's the only chance I would have to get this right is being able to look at the direction of the... Got it, okay. Yeah, she looks like a tank. See, she's sitting in that bed, but she's got her little weird pig nose snout thing. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> right in the mouth, right in the little snout. Mnemonic possession. Toxic chemicals line the walls of the decrepit lung house, causing fits of coughing. Oh, I hope there's no more fits of coughing because I can't do that anymore. Because I will die. My voice is already shredded. After this, I'm going to go gargle some salt water. Okay, we got a uh, very distinguished looking germ here in our vacuum. Hmm. Okay, so this is like a... Uh, like a mansion to kill you. Oh, okay. I can't kill him. Oh, this one looks like it's going to be a uh, puzzle. Oh, that was cool. Using the little uh, spitty dudes to do that. Okay. We can't kill them. Just have to time this right. What's that? Is that a key? Oh, does it follow? Oh, it follows me now. Okay, I think it's a key. So I can take this key to a locked door. I haven't seen one yet, but I'm sure, I'm sure there's one somewhere that we just missed. Let's go up here. I should have gone and cleaned out my uh, lung container, or <laughs> lung container, my uh, dust container before we started this one because I knew it was full. Let's see. Okay, the key doesn't unlock the vines. Let's try going a little further in this direction. I think I saw one more ladder. Oh no, I guess I didn't. Okay, I guess back to the beginning. Gotta figure out what a key could be used for. Oh, probably one of these, right? Okay, so we have to have another key to get through here. <clears throat> okay, so we have to figure out how to get the other key. Let's keep our eyes peeled and see if we can find anything. Up here, there's gotta be something up here, right? Oh, you know what? I bet I had one in my no? Normally when you kill all the enemies in a room, that's what opens up the uh, little vine thing for me, but for some reason when I killed those two, that didn't do it. I wonder what I'm missing. Oh no, the vine's not there to start with, so I have to not kill those. That's an interesting twist. Let's see, I bet I want these to be killed though. Oh, no, I don't. Huh. Something about these being little baby germs makes it where I'm not supposed to get them killed. Very interesting. Okay. I don't want him to... Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, so I guess I just need to kill the spiky blue one. That's very unique. Very unique to not need to kill some of them or keep some alive and have to kill others. I like it. And you know what I really 
I'm a person who likes to play games in little bite-sized chunks, and this is a game where, so far at least, it feels like all of the challenges are really bite-sized, and I can do a whole dungeon, you know, if you want to call them dungeons, uh, super fast. I can just jump in, find something to do, and do it. I mean, we've been able to do at least a dungeon almost every episode, I think, and that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna go down here and save before we go unlock that door. Just in case. We haven't really run into any tough challenges yet that have put our lives on the line, but it could happen. Okay, we don't wanna kill the pink ones, I, I'm assuming. Uh, is he gonna kill the, oh no, okay. We have to kill the enemies before they kill our little pink germ buddies. I don't know why those are our buddies, but they are. Sweet. I mean, they got pacifiers and little bows and stuff, so. Okay, we got him before he wrecked our day. I, oh, I like the challenge of having to protect some of these enemies. That's really neat. I'm like a broken record though. I'm even a broken record about saying I'm a broken record because I've said that so many times. But people always get mad, I think, because when I play a game, I think it's really cool. The whole time I'm just like, oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, that's amazing. But that's really how I feel about it. I just feel like it's amazing. <clears throat> From dust, I arise. Nova must die. The center must crumble. I wish that all the enemies didn't cough because I really feel like putting my whole my whole chest and well-being into it, and uh, it's hurting me. But I mean, I love it. But it's killing me. But I love it. But on the other hand, it's killing me. Oh, last hit. Okay, good. I failed, but Nova will fall. The center will fall. Thanks. See? Bite-sized. Is that the end of the dungeon? That's the end of the dungeon. I love it. I love it. I love that you just come in here, you do a little dungeon challenge, and then you get out, and you don't have to be away from the 3D too long. Oh man. I, I might have to like give this an actual number ranking or something when I get done with it because I am feeling like this is gonna be one of those games that I'm gonna tell everybody to play. <clears throat> what does she sound like now that she's not that way? You don't know what it's like to have a life and then to see it crumble before your very eyes. That's what the dust does. It grows and grows by eating up who you are meant to become. Nova, you've done a good thing here. My lungs are much better now. Maybe I'll be able to finish writing my lampshade book now. Did you ever clean up the dirt you tracked into my bedroom? You know, the center itself once sent me a special lampshade with unbelievable symmetry in recognition of my work cataloging and appreciating lampshades. Thank you, Nova. I really appreciate what you've done here. I mean it sincerely. You can have any lampshade you like. Well, as long as it's the retro film model in mint green, I've already got one of those, see? Thank you, Nova. Goodbye. I love it. It's so funny. The dialogue is great. Nova feels the glandilock seed pulsating inside of her. It channels the center's power, transforming the deadly dust crystal into a card. Great. Wow. 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 I'm hooked. I'm, I'm really hooked on this. This is crazy. I don't want to stop playing. 
Wow, that's two out of four cards that we'll need to level up the dust prism. Oh, Nova, you're hurt. Nova quickly straightens her posture and shakes her head no. Please, don't push yourself too hard. You are still so young. Remember, I'll be around Center Sanctuary if you ever need me. While you're there, you can deposit your stored dust and leave with a spring in your step. It's better not to carry around a full tank for any longer than you need to. Okay. That's a great idea. I'm gonna go deposit my dust. Been needing to do that for a while. Feel like I'm dying because I did that voice too long. Wait, did I get my lampshade? Hold on. Will she actually give me a lampshade? I have to know. She said the frill one and mint green, right? Which one is that? Look, are you hustling me, lady? Because I don't see a lamp. I'm on top of the bed. Ha ah! ha! Okay, I don't see a lampshade I can take unless she gave it to me. <gasps> she did! Mint green lamp! A mint green lamp with retro frills from Mysterio Weisel. A fake based on a more prestigious model. It does not smell like mint. <laughs> I love that. I love that we actually got that lampshade. I didn't think we were actually going to get it. Okay, let's go turn in our... Uh, let's go turn in our uh, dust here in the center thing. Whoops, whoops, don't want to hit any of y'all. What's the sag do again? Is this a save spot? Yeah, let's go ahead and save. And we'll go down here and... Drop our dust. <laughs> I really love that I can just turn into a car whenever I want. Okay, we're going down into the center sanctuary. Can I turn into a car here? I cannot. Carring is not allowed in Center Sanctuary, apparently. I don't remember if I ever messed with the thing on the other side, the little cube thing. I'm gonna have to go mess with that. Uh, we're depositing all of our dust. Is that gonna get us to level one? You've worked so hard, Nova. In fact, you have more dust than the dust prison can hold right now. For now, why don't you keep the extra dust in your tank until you find enough cards to upgrade the prism? <clears throat> okay. Sounds great. Thank you for- Oh, thank you for depositing dust, Nova. Please return soon. Thanks. Little vacuum thing. Let's see this. I don't remember if I messed with this. The dust prism allows the nano. Oh, the, the dust prism allows the nano dust you collect to blossom safely. Once it is blossomed, the clouds of dust can be recycled in energy by the center. Unfortunately, the dust prism was weakened by a great storm and cannot hold its full capacity of nano dust. That was before your time, little munchkin. Please collect rare cards to reinforce the dust prism. Okay, welcome to the prism reinforcement device. Please insert the cards you've collected so that the dust prism may be expanded. It would appear you don't have enough card power to increase the prism size. Okay, so we have to get four cards and then come back to the um, little console thing and upgrade so that we can store more dust so that we can do something with it. I don't remember what. All right, let's see. Should we, uh, you know what? Let's go up top if it'll let us. Nova presses the console to go upwards, but the console doesn't respond. Suddenly, Palisade appears. No! Ah, oh, Nova, you're trying to get out of Center City C-Node, a natural inclination for any nano cleaner. I'm afraid it's far too dangerous, though. You'll have to power the center with dust and cards before the outside atmosphere can be purified. Okay, so that's the reason we're collecting the cards and the dust, is so that we can power up this elevator. I guess we have to get it all the way up there to the top, like level uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish. And once we get it to level seven or eight or whatever, uh, we can take the elevator up and get to the next area. So it's kind of like Mario 64, where we have to get a certain number of stars to get to the next part of the game. Huh, very interesting. Oh, we gotta talk to this dude. I was about to end the video, but then I saw him standing over here. Shrew Rivers. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, hold on. 
on, gotta find it, gotta find it. When the, when the fog descends into Sea Note and you look from here, the lake appears infinite as the horizon fades to fog. Feels like I'm right near the ocean. Ah. Perfect. Beautiful. What is that? Oh no. Oh no. It's got spider legs, but like a horse body. Oh no. I'm not talking to that thing. Bye guys. Oh wait. Uh, I should say this is the last episode in this recording session so if you want to see more of Anodyne 2 you better let me know uh, I really kind of hope that you guys do want to see more and I hope that these videos are doing pretty well because I am digging this game and I want to keep playing it's so cool so whether I make more videos about this or not I'm gonna keep playing I'm gonna finish this game it's amazing I'm hooked and I can't wait to see where the story goes from here cuz or it's not even the story that I'm that hooked on I guess it's just the general atmosphere of the game. What is this? Oh yeah, look at this. It's like scaffolding, but then there's like a skeleton for some reason. Okay, well, if you guys wanna see more, this is what I'm doing next, so want it. Bye.